Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and I'm going to show off Krita. Uh, there's a couple different things that I recently learned that made this program um, actually a real contender against Photoshop and Clip Studio. And uh, the nicest thing about Krita, besides the fact that it, it can compete in features as well as surpass Photoshop and Clip Studio in a couple different ways, is that it is free. So, amazing tool. Uh, I'm using a Vio Z Flip, which is Ntrig, like the Surface Pro 4. It did not start working with Krita's pressure sensitivity uh, without a little bit of work. In order to get it to work, I needed to download the Surface Pro 3 Ntrig, Ntrig driver from Microsoft. And that can be found by searching uh, in Google. Search for uh, Ntrig win tab surface pro and maybe the word driver uh, that should bring you to rick rodriguez's site uh, surfaceproartist.com there's a little link at the very top that just says click here and that'll bring you to the microsoft download page it will look like they're on the wrong page until you click download and then it will give you a list and at the very bottom of the list there's the win tab driver um, download that and install it. I have not had any conflicts with anything with that installed on my machine. So uh, hopefully you guys will have the same good luck. And then the pressure sensitivity worked really well inside of Krita. So, uh, and Krita is actually, like I was saying, it's, it's pretty awesome. It took me a while to figure out how to do a couple different things. All right, so let's let's get into it. The first thing is the brush resizing. Uh, let's go ahead and select a color. Select black. It's very responsive, by the way. All right, and we're gonna choose to increase the size of the brush and decrease the size of the brush. And then we'll just delete those or undo those. All right, so that's pretty cool. I and mean, it works a lot better than Photoshop does. Photoshop is kind of messy you have to have the assist pad up here and this works very smooth exactly like the way I'd want it to. Uh, another cool thing about Krita is, uh, well let's just do this, uh, I set this up to have full screen mode. Alright so press that for full screen, it's a tab key. Alright so I'm drawing here and then I want to use this pop-up and it is extremely fast and I can switch between brushes uh, and quite a few brushes really quickly. So pretty awesome tool and they did a great job. Uh, I'm very happy with that. Uh, I wish that that was, that was an option in a lot of other programs. All right, so in order to, uh, what do I do here? Okay, in order to get that to work with the brushes, uh, you're gonna need to open up the presets. Uh, you just basically, you find a brush over here hold down, go assign a tag, and select your name. In order to do that, you need to come up here and choose new tag, type in your name, and then when uh, when you do that, you can see inside of here the different ones that you have selected or set to go into that, that area. So, okay, so let's do bristle, assign a tag, choose justice. Um, now, when I don't know what that one is. All right, now when I press this button, you'll see I have these other tools available. Ooh, <laughs> pretty nice. Okay, so let's see the next. Okay, that's good. The next thing that you guys need to know, configure Krita. In order to get a couple different things to work, I had to change some settings in here. Uh, zoom canvas. I changed uh, zoom mode, Z plus left button. Your your pen, when it's on the screen drawing, is considered a left button. So what you're gonna do, tap here, tap with the pen again, tap modifiers, and then you're gonna just press the zoom button over here. It's Z, it's just a Z button. All right, so that will get that to work. And then to show the pop-up palette, uh, we're gonna select here and key combination. If you don't have this set to key combination or you're choosing add shortcut, you can just double tap over here, choose key combination, and then input 
tap here, and then you can just press the button that I have set up. It'll input F3 for you. It doesn't matter to an extent what you use, but uh, I would suggest using the ones that I have set because certain combinations don't work. Uh, I think that's it for the special keys over here. Uh, one other thing you want to keep in mind, I have Photoshop compatible. I started that, and then I did edit profile and renamed it to Tablet Pro. And that's the one. I'll try and make that available in community assets for those who want it. Uh, all right, so let's see some advanced functionality. You can go up and down layers over here with these. Choose the dynamic brush, which I don't know what it does. I'm not sure what dynamic brush is, but it sounded cool. Uh, you can add a layer with this button right here. Again, going up and down those layers, selecting active layers, activating the next layer up and down. Color picker is control. So you can select different colors that way. Uh, you can open up the color wheel, but I don't really see a purpose for this when you're using this palette, pop-up palette. Uh, the eraser is just a toggle on the brush. So instead of it being a different tool, it's, it's a toggle on and off. If you want to move something, uh, you can use the move tool. Of course, you need to have something on the layer to move. Brush, uh, lasso is left over. Screen, multiply, and normal all work, and these can be adjusted to other different things. All right, so that's Krita. Um, actually very happy with it. I think it's, it's an amazing tool uh, at uh, an amazing price. All right, you guys, if you have questions or comments, please send me a message. I will be happy to answer whatever ones I can. If you know how to get this layer panel to pop up with a hotkey, please send me a message at justice at tabletpro.net. I would love to learn how to do that. And please share this with your friends, other people who use Krita or who use tablet computers. Um, tablet Pro gets better by your referrals and by your support. All right, until next time, stay creative.